Hey y'all, Bob Scooper, LibbyCooper.com. Today I got a cool simple review for you. Look what Bob's got. I got the Tremax Access Wallet. We're gonna take a look at that thing, as well as the Tremax Summit Wallet. We're gonna look at that thing, and I'm replacing my old wallet. Y'all come on in here, and let's take a look. Okay y'all, here we go. Let's take a look at these here wallets. First thing we're gonna look at is the Tremax Summit Wallet, because it's a small wallet. And I have not been carrying this one. This was actually a freebie for ordering the Trevax Access Wallet, which we'll talk about here in a second. So the Trevax Sun Wallet, it's just a, I guess, a smaller wallet. You don't have very many cards. This thing will hold up to eight cards, and it says up to five bills in the money clip. So this money clip is on this side. So, so let's take a look at this. We'll put the cards in it. Then hook me up with some gift cards and some rewards type cards, so I don't have to show you guys my personal cards. So it says up to eight cards. Let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more is eight. So we'll put the eight cards in, and then we will put some money in this thing. So this thing is a, a steel construction with a nylon holding strap right there. And to adjust this thing in the back, you just kind of pull this out a little bit. I'll say just pull it out. It sounds easier than it is, it's like a buckle. And so you kind of get a little bit of a strap in there, pull it out, and then slip your cards in. Maybe, I guess I still don't have enough out. All right, so you have to adjust it. You have to pull that nylon strap out a little bit and then slip your cards in, maybe. Maybe I still don't have enough, have it loose enough. There it goes. There we go. So this thing, like I said, steel construction. Of course, it's got a little holding, a little tab there and a little tab there to kind of hold your cards against. And it's also got a little lanyard eyelet right there. So there's eight cards in this thing right there. You can kind of pull this strap back tight just a little bit if you need to. And uh, let's see, make sure I'm not actually touching the cards see how well it holds well they're coming out a little bit but I guess you're not probably not gonna be shaking them like that when they're in your pocket okay so we put our cards back in so that's like I said eight cards now this thing is supposed to give a little bit RFID protection maybe maybe not I mean it is metal on the backs of your cards or the fronts of your cards depending on how you put your cards in in fact they just call it RFID reduction they don't call it protection they call it reduction so that's how your cards go in. Now, if you need to get a card out, obviously you just kind of thumb through your cards until you find the one you want to take out. You take it out and you stick it back in. You probably want to carry it in your pocket down like this with this little uh, eye up. That would probably be the best way to carry it. So let's take a look at some, putting some bills in this thing. It says it'll hold up to, holds up to five bills. So let's, let's put five bills in here and see what we got. So put the bills in, basically you just slip them right in here on the back side. And they should slip in here. Should be in the operative word there. Just like that. Now there's your five bills and that's what it looks like there in their money clip. I'm not super impressed with their little money clip design. In fact, I don't even use it the way they say to use it on the Axis wallet either. But nonetheless, this is the Summit wallet and it's not a bad little wallet. If you got, you know, eight cards or less, let's just take a look at, uh, it says one to eight cards. So if you got one card in there, then if you're gonna pull this strap tight, Simply pull it around like so, and then pull it tight through the buckle basically. So you might have to do it a couple of times to get it in there tight. So now that's how one card would fit in there and you can put your driver's license in there with it. That's one card. And then you still have your money clip in the back where you can slip your money in the back of this thing like so. Like I said, I really don't care for that money clip design on that and I don't use the access wallet the way they say to use it either. So that's a Summit wallet. It was a freebie for buying the Axis wallet off of the Trevax website. Now let's take a look at the Axis wallet. Okay, so this is the Trevax Axis wallet and this is the way I carry it right here. And this is the tumbled stainless steel version. So normally I have my IDs turned where you can see my face is out on them. And this is a billfold or a bifold type wallet. And it's really not, they really don't say that you're supposed to carry it this way, designed to carry it this way but I carry it this way. I have 11 cards in here, and then I have the primary card that I normally use on the outside under the strap, along with the bills I carry. And I can tell you I got a lot more than eight bills in here. Uh, we'll take a look at that. But before we take a look at that, I'm gonna swap out all my personal cards for some gift cards. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back after changing out all my personally identifiable information. And now let's take a look at this Travex Axis wallet. It's a stainless steel. This is what they call the tumbled stainless steel. So it's stainless steel with the nylon straps. And they also have one that's a black steel, kind of like this uh, Summit wallet. 
and as well as some other colors that are Cerakoted. So they have the, the steel frame with the ceramic Cerakote finish on it. This wallet, uh, like I said, it holds up to 14 cards. I have 12 cards on the inside. Plus I have the card that I use all the time on the outside along with my cash on the outside. This is a bifold design and you open this with this little tab right here and it's surprisingly, it, it stays closed in the pocket. I haven't had it come open yet in my pocket and I've been carrying this for a couple of weeks now. So it's a bifold design. This is what they call them their money clip. Normally, I guess you want to slide your money in here, but I don't like it that way. I prefer it on the outside. Simply that way I don't have to open the wallet every time I want to get some cash out. I just pull it out and I just slip it out, of the, out from underneath this strap there. So it's got this strap which goes around your cards and then it comes back through the frame here, this uh, side tab on this frame, so that it's kind of a uh, kind of a buckle style and it holds the tension on, on your strap there. Also this strap is, it's sealed on the bottom here and then up this side right here so you have a little have a little pocket right there where you can put a key in there, you know a couple of quarters or something in there if you wanted to. But that's the basic construction now on this thing. Like I said, it holds up to 14 cards, and if you want to access your cards, basically you just thumb through your cards so you find the one you want, then you pull that card out, and then you just slip it back in there, like so. This, again, is RFID reduction. It's not 100% RFID, but what I do have in here that is, is I actually have my passport, and it's in an RFID sleeve, so that offers a little more protection than just the wallet itself. And you can also buy the RFID reduction cards that have the little, I guess, RFID reduction scrambling circuits supposedly in them that, would, that you could put in there. You know, I carry my IDs, my insurance cards, my debit cards, and everything I use is right there. It used to be in this wallet, and this wallet I like is a carbon fiber wallet. Of course, it was thicker and you sat on it. So I decided I wanted to move to the front pocket. So I replaced my wallet and my money clip with the trade back taxes. So far, I've enjoyed it. And it's done everything I need to do. It's an excellent, I think it'd be an excellent gift for somebody that might need one or if you just need a new wallet. Now, let's talk about the money that I carry in my wallet. And of course, obviously it varies from time to time, but I have, like I said, I have 12 cards here and one card here, and you should be able to get 14 cards in the back. And I, I believe they said up to eight bills. Well, this is how many bills I have, I'm carrying right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So I'm carrying twenty-four bills by carrying it on the outside. And as you can see, that's also folded. Basically, that's uh, one, two, three, four layers, twenty-four bills by carrying it on the outside. And I can still put a little bit more in there if I needed to. Um, but if you try to put that on the inside, the way they suggest carrying it, if you, if you try to carry that on the inside, the way they suggest you carrying it, yeah, you might only get eight bills in there. And then, you know, if you don't have another card behind them anyways, they're going to push through, you know, that open spot anyway. So this is the way I carry it. It's comfortable in the pocket, had not had any problems. And, you know, if, if you're carrying fewer bills or no bills at all, you can tighten this thing up simply by pushing it, pushing the nylon strap through and then pulling it tight. That's all you gotta do, just push it through, pull it tight, and then it'll tighten down on your cards, like that. And when you open this thing, and the cards are supposed to be secure in there, but they, they're, you know, they're cards, they're gonna slide against each other. So they're not necessarily gonna stay in there all the way. Now you can pull this tighter, you can make it tighter if you wanted to. I don't see any need to do that, because when you have it closed all the way down, well, you got that, that strap is holding in there, so your cards aren't coming out. I mean, they're, they're in there. So, so I'm not too worried about that. And yeah, you, you know, your cash may fall out, but it hasn't been an issue for me. I don't know. It, I guess really kind of the biggest drawback that I see on this wallet is that over time, every time you, you know, put more money in, less money in, and you've got to pull on these nylon straps, they're going to get frayed on the edges as they pass through the narrow, the narrow slits that are in here. So that's something to keep in mind. Over time, it's there, you know, that nylon strap is gonna wear out and there's really no, no way to replace that strap. Now, my guess is that they would probably replace it for you if you sent it back to them. I'm not 100% sure, I hadn't looked at that. They do offer a 65 year, I don't know how they came up with that, but what they call a 65 year heirloom warranty on their products. So I would assume that they would probably fix that for you if you break that strap or whatever, I don't know. But that's, uh, you know, that's something else to think about is that nylon strap on there. So when I use this and I need to access my card that I normally use, I just pull it out the side like that. And then I just slip it back in from the side there, just like that. 
So that's it. That's the Trayvax Axis wallet and the Trayvax Summit wallet. Like I said, I've been carrying this Axis wallet for a couple weeks now, but I have not carried the Summit wallet. Something to keep in mind, I like to buy American, and the Trayvax products are made in the USA, sourced in the USA, which is pretty awesome. That means they create jobs in the US, and that's capitalism at its finest, and gotta love it. Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by and checking out my review of the Trayvax Axis wallet and the Trayvax Summit wallet. I haven't carried the Summit wallet, like I said, but I have carried the Axis wallet. And I gotta say, it's been an easy transition from a money clip and a back pocket, back pocket wallet to a front pocket wallet. Man, it said, it sure seems like it's been easy for you, and it has been easy. It's comfortable, it really, I mean, it looks thick, but it doesn't really take up a lot of room in my pocket. Carry my AirPods, carry my keys, and then I carry my wallet. So that's what it looks like when it's in my pocket. Pretty, pretty, pretty low profile, relatively. In and out, just like that. So it's been a pretty easy transition. I hope this video has helped you guys out. And if you're looking for a gift for somebody, it's a good gift. If you're looking for that transition from the back pocket to the front pocket, or just a different front pocket, it's a good wallet. I would recommend it. I bought this from the Trayvax website, like I said, and this access was 50 bucks. This was a free promo item for the, the Summit. They, I didn't see the Summit wallet for sale itself, but they did have what they call an armored Summit wallet that was on sale for about 35 bucks. I will put links in the description, not to the tray bags. If you want to go through the tray bags, you might get this promotional item as well. I don't know. I'm an affiliate with Amazon, so I'm going to put the Amazon links down there. No harm, no foul if you don't use them. Hopefully this helps. Like I said, and if you know somebody else that's looking for a wallet, please share, share our videos. Leave us some comments, some good, bad, otherwise comments. Hopefully you liked the video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down. But when you comment, please leave us a comment, some constructive criticism as to what we could do better. Or maybe you have experience with the Trayvax Axis or Summit wallets or some other front pocket minimalist type wallets that could be helpful for other people that are looking for this kind of stuff that might be in our community, might be watching this video. Leave some comments down below for those folks as well. Check us out on our social media at Living Cooper on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. And also check out our blog over at livingcooper.com. Don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate the subscriptions. And check out our other videos. We got lots of other videos, and then we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Keep watching.